The Tomorrow People season one finale, Son of Man. Great season finale for this show. I cannot wait for season two if it does get picked up. I know it's still sort of in the middle, and they're kind of the producers and stuff are kind of waiting to see if the show gets picked up or not. But with the way this season finale went from beginning to end, it has me excited for the second season. There are so many plot lines that they put into this episode that are gonna go into future episodes. And one thing that I read while I'm like right after I finished the episode is that season two, if they're actually able to get funding for it and actually get to produce it, is actually gonna be a huge leap forward into the future. So it'll be a couple of years after everything's happened. And that makes me incredibly curious, especially with the very last scene of the episode, how that's gonna take place and what that's gonna look like with about a year or two passing. So I'm really excited for season two if we get one, but this episode alone was without a doubt a great season finale. There were things that happened that I wasn't expecting. There were things that happened that I thought might happen, but it was sad that they did happen, particularly Steven's father dying. It seemed like that did happen, especially with the trailer with Steven holding his father. I thought, I think he dies in this episode. And I didn't want that to happen because I like this character. He was such a huge portion of the series. He's a big catalyst for a lot of things that happen. And he's a huge component for a lot of the characters in the show. And we finally got him back. And that's one of the big things I love about this show is that so many things happened in just these 20 episodes, I believe, 20 or 21 episodes. And it all went down in one season. Like, these are things that could have been split up into seasons on their own. Like, Jedekai leaving could have been a whole season where he's now a different entity and he's just off on his own. His father, Stephen's father coming back could have been its own thing. The founder coming into play could have been its own thing. And he actually gets killed off in this episode or at least tossed into a portal. Who knows if that may or may not come back. I kind of think that's over with. And no one else is really just going to come out of nowhere like, hey, I had the plans and I know how to make the machine again. But he was actually defeated and like shot into a wormhole. And then the entire machine itself was sucked into the wormhole. So that entire, like the entire season just sort of wrapped up perfectly. And they put in great hints that lead to season two, especially what they did with the renegade girl who now um, has basically use the new annex thing which the founder continued to produce which they introduced in this episode that he has a paranormal kill squad and he used it on the girl who was basically causing problems left and right she just flat out became a bad guy in this episode and she took off with some of the other tomorrow people as well as the paranormal kill squad i'm sure because she was working with the founder and they lost so she took off and her becoming a bad guy is a huge plot point for season two. It just has to be where, even though it's not ultra, they're going to be going up against them because they know if Steven and his people find their team, they're going to take them down somehow. They're at least going to lock them up or something. But these people can kill them, and they just wanted to survive. They wanted to beat out all humans, basically. And since they lost because of Steven and Kara and everybody else, they're going to be looking for a way to take them all out, and they can do it because all of them can kill. So it'll be interesting to see that, you know, that character and some of the other people from her side come back as basically paranormal supervillains, and that should just be a very interesting plotline in season two. And of course, her becoming a bad guy led to us getting a brand new power out of the Tomorrow People, particularly Steven, who, you know, it's, he's the main character, so why not? we find out that they can actually rewind time. So that kind of leads to some questions like, hey, maybe he can see forward in time or fast forward time and he'll stay young, but he'll jump into the future. Who knows? But he rewound time. And one of the greatest things it did for that as well is that after Kara was shot and he did rewind time and he saved her, once they moved everyone into Ultra and they were sitting in the chair and stuff, she said like she still felt the bullet almost and she was curious as to what he did and i love that because it made me curious as to whether or not things are as great as they seem maybe this could mentally affect her and at some point what happened to her physically will show up mentally in her head she'll realize she was actually shot and that could just affect her as a character and change who she is because it's like physically that killed her when she was shot and mentally knowing that she was dying in that moment could suddenly show up. So 
I'm curious to see if that comes into effect in season two as well, and I'm sure it will at some point. It might be later on or towards the middle, but I love that little plot point. And of course, a lot of this episode is me going to be me pointing out how they put in new plot points for season two, but that's kind of what the point is of a season finale, is to wrap everything up, which they did perfectly. Like I said, it was sad to see Steven's father die and the machine still work. That really sucked. I thought that was like the saddest thing ever where... Jedekiah had to kill his brother and that was an amazing scene and it happened really early on you know Jedekiah lost the powers that he took which I I didn't like that I wanted to see him with powers but it turns out that humans can't hold on to tomorrow people abilities so that went away and I thought that was really interesting and he only got to use it for a couple of seconds but he'll probably refine that over time and he had his dialogue with his brother and he had to shoot Roger and I thought that was just a really well done scene the acting was just really really good and he had to shoot his brother to save all of humanity and it still didn't work and that was just depressing to see but it just made for a great moment in the episode and for a great episode overall unfortunately with no surprise really Stephen was able to defeat the founder and save all of humanity but it was cool to see that the machine did actually go off and it did stop people and the founder actually killed the one security guard who did work for him and just made him even it made him even more evil because he just killed a guy like ha there's a point I can just prove it and just he just killed a guy for no reason but he was fortunately defeated shot into a wormhole I don't think he's coming back unless they do the whole limbo thing again which I don't think would be overused if they did go back to it in season two because admittedly they only had it if we totaled up all the times they did the whole limbo thing it would probably be like 10 minutes or so and i don't think that's too much i don't think that's too bad especially considering the fact that if it happened in season two it would be showing the founder and it would sort of be the opposite of this season where it was the main character talking to his father and they're just both good guys and it's like hey i'm just trying to get my father and make everything right as for in season two it would just be evil people doing evil stuff and trying to bring back like one of the really big bad guys so it would, it would be cool to have the same location so to speak in limbo but it would have the complete opposite sort of storyline as to why they're trying to bring the character back but <clears throat> excuse me unless he's unless they do the limbo thing i think he's just out of this show as far as present time they might do a couple of flashbacks and stuff with Jedekiah but that'll probably be it one of the other great plot points that they put in was of course the end of this episode where um John gets his powers back and it seemed really simple I thought I figured as soon as Jedekiah got powers I was really excited because I like John having his powers and I thought oh he's gonna get powers back plain and simple he got powers back but his mind was erased so I don't know what Jedekai is planning now. He's trying to start a new, uh, almost a new Ultra. And I don't know what he plans on doing with getting Kara and the other members. Maybe he's going to wipe their memories too. But I feel like it would be hard to do that. But the greatest thing about it is that it sort of resets John as a character. And he's just someone new. And as soon as they showed him, I was like, it seems weird that <clears throat> he would agree w to go with Jedekai and like point a gun at this guy and threaten him. I'm like, he looks obviously the suit and the hair was different and it was like when he worked for ultra but i just thought it's weird that he would agree to this and then he's looking through the pictures and I'm, it, it was obvious he when he asked if she, um john knew who Kara was and he didn't it was just like what's gonna happen now what is his new plan why couldn't he just work with the tomorrow people everything was working fine they realized that he wasn't as bad of a guy as he said he was even though he did take the girl's powers that was sort of a dick move but he wasn't the horrific person that they initially thought he was he did the bad things he did but he really was just trying to save his brother the entire time and they figured that stuff out and then he sort of just goes back to being his manipulative evil self and i feel like he's doing it in a much more powerful way now that he has john under complete mind control in a sense and he's probably i don't know if he's sort of done implanting like fake memories or if he just wiped him clean and just lied to him sort of like a man in black style just poof this is your life but i'm incredibly curious to see just how that plays out and i'm just i'm glad he has his powers back and i'm sure 
at some point in the season, maybe he'll get his memory back, or maybe they'll save that for like a season, sort of like towards the end of the season. But great season finale. I love the episode. Love the good stuff. Love the sad stuff, even though it's sad. But ultimately, everything wrapped up perfectly, and I cannot wait to see if this show gets this season too. But comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Favorite parts, least favorite parts. And what plot point do you guys want to see most that was introduced in this episode for season two? Also, crap, I almost forgot one of the big things. <clears throat> there are going to be a lot more Tomorrow People in the next season because when Steven did what he did, which I would assume it was either the rewinding time portion or actually fixing the machine. <clears throat> Sorry. One of those things sort of sent out a telepathic signal to a bunch of people and they all came to the lair, which is, of course, why they all went to Ultra. But that's a huge plot point for season two as well. So if that's one of your favorite plot points, comment below, let me know. And thanks for watching.